Hi, how you doing? Just want to do another video of the day today. Um, talk to you about some tips about book publishing, self-publishing, book marketing, and so forth. Um, this is a basic advice for anybody in any business, but generally speaking, I find a lot of self-publishing people, especially the ones who write their own books, I, I mean, shout out to all you guys. You guys have incredible talent and a gift in writing and and creativity and you guys are extremely smart okay i went to uh book publishing events and almost everyone is smart <laughs> i'll be honest they're almost smarter than me the publishers <laughs> because they're so uh, you know they're intelligent they know how to write they write like 500 page books some of these authors writers but especially for the first time writers i would say even though i'm not that type of writer i wrote my own book which is by, as an everyday person but I guess I can share something with you after you're publishing hundreds of books as a publisher as well, transitioning. Um, and I've seen this with several, a lot of people in my journey into the self-publishing, book publishing world. Not just one event, but several different people from different locations. They have the same challenge. A lot of people either have, they already have the story inside their head. They already know the book. Or some of them, they even wrote the book. But, and it's in their computer or laptop and they have decided not to publish it out of fear of publishing. So my thing is this, like, like, uh, like, be, be, just like, don't worry about your first book. It's going to be your worst book, okay? But it's, it's, it's not about the book. It's about your experience in that uh, field, okay? Uh, developing that skill set okay especially the first time is the hardest one time but this developing the skill set to be able to publish more and more books in the future and finish that first book that is in your computer drive uh, for all these years okay uh, finally finish that book that's in your mind in your head for years and years and years and you keep talking about it all the time and and, and then you say you're gonna keep working on it, but should it be this way or that way? No, just finish the first book. Especially, this is this video is not for experienced authors and whatnot. You know how to do what you have to do. But the people who haven't got a book finished and they're stuck because something is preventing them, holding them back. Whatever it is, mindset, uh, if it's the strategy, if it's, you know, uh, you don't have the, uh, the correct idea as of yet, Etc. 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 You know what I mean? Um. So um. Yeah, I just want to share with you, man. The weather is kind of weird, so yeah. Anyways, um. Like, because I see a lot of people just. <clears throat> I think at the end of it, at, at the end of the day, it's fear. Like we all have fear, especially when we go to the unknown. Especially when we're doing something we've never done before, never published a book before. It's scary than it really is, you know? So sometimes I, I show my videos, like document my journey for my course members and whatnot, even on YouTube, doing it. So, because if you see it, you know, you know it's possible. Like, oh, if that guy could do it, I could do it. Roger Bannister became the first person to run under four minutes in a mile. And after that, like, tons of people did it. After he did it though, you know? So, at the end of the day, just go out there, man. Just, just finish your book. Okay, you guys are extremely creative, the writers out there. You know, I don't have the gift that you have as a writer. I don't have the gift, the, uh, the talents as of right now. I haven't developed it for low content, no content. I'm a primarily a nonfiction publisher hiring real life everyday people, everyday experts for all topics A to Z, focus on publishing my brand, building my brand. So that's my expertise and experience. So find your niche. But most importantly, take action first, okay? Take action first, then you'll be able to really what know what is your niche, okay? But you have to be able to finish the book first. Finish your first book, that's my main point. Fin just finish your first book. Maybe it could be the first book of your series, okay? And you'll be surprised and, you know, your first book may not even sell. And then you might be like, oh my God, I took years thinking about, you know, doing this and it wasn't even 
you know, gonna work. So why do I, you know? And then like you may want to pursue like a, a passion project instead, a passion book project instead of thinking all oh, this money. I'm doing this just for money. You know, some people do it and they don't make money and they think it's uh, fruitless. It's like pointless. I disagree completely. I feel if you didn't make, if you don't make money from publishing, that's not. It's not just about the money. It's a, it's about you sharing your story. It's about you becoming an author. It's about you being able to, you know, pass your legacy, your story, your name, you know, for the future. Who knows what the book will be in the future or whatever, okay? Especially if you publish all the platforms and whatnot. You know, it's, it's, it's your opportunity to maximize your gifts and talents. So, I recommend you to do it, you know what I mean? Um, 